me real, we've been on and off for 11 years. In the beginning of the relationship, he was seeing other people and I was seeing other people. I kn knew what he was doing, but it's like I didn't care because I didn't have an attachment with him because I would go off, you know, when I would see him with other women. I would just go off and do my own thing until, you know, I had my first son and started having kids with him. I wanted that family. I just try not to think about it because I, I, don't, I don't like it and I want something different. I want something different from me and my kids. I want a man that's there for me emotionally, mentally, and not just physically. After I proved him wrong the first two times, I thought things would change, but it hasn't. He's now denying our last two. The, the other kids he has with the other women, he doesn't deny them, he only does it with me because he's, he's afraid of commitment. He's afraid of commitment with me. It's doubt because he's doing, he's still doing what he's doing, what he's been doing. He has other kids outside of our four. In total, Yorel has 13 kids. He has 13. Four of them are with me, and he's fathered at least three of those other kids while being with me. On the way traveling to the show, I kind of feel like I might be pregnant again. I know how the feeling is because I have four kids already. I'm really like nervous and scared to tell him that I might be due to the fact that we're here and he's denying our last two. But if I am again, he, you know, if he denies this one, I haven't stepped out and I'm not cheating. <laughs> These are his kids. And we could possibly have another one on the way. With the, with the two oldest children, I asked for a paternity test because we've never consistently lived together doing the relationships. Right. Back in my day, Steve, I was, uh, I was a Big Mac and I ain't talking McDonald's. <laughs> so basically, she know what she signed up for. And what is that? Tell me what you signed up for. We had an open fr friendship. She said that on the video. So you, you could sleep with other people? We did. Yeah. I've been faithful, loyal to you for the last three years. I know I, with the first two, I told you about the other guys that I messed with, but I corrected my mistakes. You're still making yours. You took a pregnancy test backstage. It's negative. Let's open up, find out. Uh, you took a pregnancy test and you're not pregnant. Good. Oh, wow. Stuck on 13. 14's right around the corner, I got a feeling. Mm. You're all, you took a DNA test for your 17 month old son. And that DNA test came back that you are the father. Uh, and then we gave uh, a DNA test concerning your five-month-old daughter, and you're all... <laughs> Got the same hair. Say, say it again. Uh, you are the father of Destiny's five-month-old daughter. I apologize for doubting you. I apologize. And now, they just confirmed there's something I've been thinking about asking you. <laughs> So the Big Mac is back, and that was about a year ago that you were here. You proposed to Destiny uh, on stage here, but you haven't gotten married. Steve, I can't marry a woman I can't trust. 
Well, why can't you trust her? I have two daughters with her that have side-by-side -side birthdays. I've never missed one of my kids' birthdays. I pull up to take everybody out to eat. No call, no show. So I'm calling, I'm texting. It took three or four days for Destiny to return my calls and my text messages. When she did, she said, um, calm down. I needed some time off. I needed some time away. I needed a break. We in Florida. I'm like, why the hell are you in Florida with my kids? And not, you didn't run it by me. My oldest son at the time was five. So I was like, son, everything was good. Y'all had fun? He was like, yeah, daddy. And mama friend took us to the store. <laughs> Mama's friend in Florida? I said, what store y'all go to, son? He said, um, we went to Walmart. Mama friend took us to Walmart and to the restaurant. What is my son talking about? Who was your friend in Florida that took y'all to the store? She was like, uh, that was an Uber. I'm like, no. <laughs> my son is smart, Steve. He know the difference between seeing somebody for a split moment, pick up, drop off, or versus a friend because right. it's interaction with a friend. So she gave me the, um, she beat around the bush for a little bit about it. And then finally, when she seen I wasn't budging, she brought up the fact that the friend was one of her exes from our hometown. Ooh. Now, at this point, you know, I'm ready to go a little ballistic because, like, you ain't making sense right now. First of all, I've never been engaged. I've never proposed to nobody. Except her. Except her. So I went on, and I did it in front of national television. I, I did it in front of the world. Yeah. So at that point, I was ready to, like, everything I've been doing wrong. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me spend some time trying to make it right. I propose to you, and a few months later, you dip off and go on this mystery visit or this mystery trip without me, and then my son had to, you know, be the one to let me know you met one of your exes out there, ex fling. So when she go into the spiel, she said that she reached out to him so he could uh, give her a second opinion, like a consultant. About you? About me and her. She so said she didn't have sex with him, right? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. Do you believe her? Hell no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hold on. Don't even come out here with this good girl persona. <laughs> Don't even come out here with all that, because see, like, like I, I just told I, I Steve, no, no, nah, nah, hold on. See, I listened to you since April. I ain't never missed one of my children's birthdays before you pulled that stunt. And so what I'm saying here right now, I, did, I didn't go behind the closet and propose to you. I ain't do it at McDonald's no well. I came out here in front of the world, man, and got down on one knee for you. And a couple of months later, you run off with my cheering. Why would you sneak back to a state where you already got an ex fleeing at? And then tell me y'all didn't sleep together, but he gave you some money. He did. <laughs> For free? No favors? No, nothing. You my life, that he's if we're not together, yeah, he's still sleeping around. I know he is. I'm not no fool. I know he is. is the whole you, the, a is, year, you just had a baby five months ago. What are you saying? That baby was from the last time we was here. That was already in the oven. So you... I didn't leave and go make that baby. That baby was already in the oven. You're not happy. St I ain't been happy, Steve. Were you, were you happy? So when I went to my friend, that was a piece of my... Because he... He... You know, he's there. He's like... You okay? Like, and he really did. We didn't do nothing. He really did. I, I one... was mad because I didn't even get a hug from my friend. Okay. And what I... makes you most upset about the situation? It's him trying to accuse me and blame me of stuff that, that I'm not doing. But I mean, does it bother that you? That I could have did. Like, I could have went to Florida and messed around with my friend. I could have did that. So she I came did. here and took a lie detector test. And we asked Destiny, did you have sexual intercourse with anyone when you went to Florida? She answered no. In the past five years, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides Urel? She answered no. In the past five years, have you had sexual contact with any other man besides Urel? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that destiny told the truth. <laughs> Are you happy? Um, um, I have confirmation now. Yeah. I have confirmation now. But, but with so much damage be in between all this turbulence, you know, it's, it's good confirmation. And if, I, you know, I appreciate her. Don't Not be every relationship men. is going to last forever. Exactly. Hey. Sometimes you outgrow each other. It's part of life. Uh, so the first part, Ural admits that since April 2023, he's had sexual intercourse with at least two women 
that he could recall. He cannot recall. <laughs> He cannot recall the specific amount of women that he's had sexual contact with. So, could be quite a few. When she was gone for that two to four weeks, I automatically figured she was out with her ex. So, I went out and did a lot of ass grabbing and partying. Since the last appearance on the show, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman besides Destiny? He answered yes. Since your last appearance on the show, have you had sexual contact with any other woman besides Destiny? He answered yes. That's for April. That's why I said it. Ain't no use in lying about it. Yeah. I'm here now. Okay. You disappear with my kids and then go link up with your ex? Why would I be thinking y'all just out here high-fiving? You left me in Oklahoma City, so I went out for the weekend and turned up. But see, I don't think a lot of guys can just go out and like start scoring left and right, you know? <laughs> why not? Because you're the Big Mac and they're not. That's, that, yeah, yeah. That's... <laughs> I feel sorry for you because you are in a tough situation. Uh, you know, you got four children, four young kids, and it doesn't sound like you're, you're in a real stable home or you're struggling and, and it's tough. And you're with him, well, not exactly, but. What do you do now? What I said, Steve. You're done. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Because, and this is my piece of not that you're a bad guy, but I think that if you keep going down this road, right. you're going to keep getting the same results and the same hurt. And I don't think he's a guy that's meant for one woman. And that's just the way it is. That's his business. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. Hope it works out. Thank you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.